hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make the perfect crispy and chewy bacon i'll be using the power air fryer oven pro so let's get started the bacon that i'll be using is by applegate naturals i purchased this from target and this was a small pack it only contained around seven strips and it tastes so good so if you've never tried this brand go ahead and check it out you will not regret it i promise you so first I'm gonna start by lining my drip tray with foil because of course that baking grease is gonna drip down onto my drip tray. This is just for easy cleanup purposes, totally optional. And whenever you cook your bacon, you always want to lay it in a single layer without overlapping. And that's just gonna make sure that your bacon is cooking evenly on both sides. So now I'm repeating the same steps with the other four strips of bacon. And as you can see here, I did lift them up just a little bit to ensure that the bacon strips would fit onto the airflow racks because the strips were just a little bit long, but I did not want to cut them, although that was an option. I wanted my bacon strips whole. I didn't want no half slices. Nope, no sir, no ma'am. Okay, let's keep moving right along, hello. So I'm gonna cook this on 370 degrees for a total of about eight minutes. So as you guys already know, there are many ways to cook bacon. You can use a microwave oven, you can use an oven, a stove top, and yeah, you can also use an air fryer. Now, in my opinion, the air fryer is one of the better methods. My bacon always comes out crispy and perfect without a ton of grease. And you know, there's no need for me to constantly flip the bacon because the airflow racks, the way they're designed, they allow air to circulate and to cook both sides of the bacon evenly. And that's what's important. And you know, also that's not to mention the reduced cooking time due to the air circulation. So, you know, in the end, you'll always end up with perfect crispy bacon. So once the bacon was almost done, I rotated the racks just once because the bacon strips on top were cooking just a little bit faster than the bacon strips that were on the bottom rack. So, you know, I just rotated those, popped it back inside for an additional minute. And yeah, that's it, it's done. Once you remove your bacon from the air fryer, go ahead and use a paper towel to, you know, drain that extra grease if you like to, or you can leave it on there. Sometimes I'm guilty, I leave that grease on there because bacon is so flavorful and so good. So I don't always drain my bacon, okay? But don't tell nobody, okay? Okay. Here, I'm just gonna show you guys the finished result. Go ahead and take a look at both sides. As you can see, my bacon is cooked and my bacon is cooked to perfection. It's perfect. Can I get a hand clap? Hello? No, no hand clap? Okay, I see you. Okay, I see you. All right, so I'll be serving my bacon with some pancakes and eggs and that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video.